I've had a lot of requests for a Timberborn modding tutorial, and there's no better time than now to do it since a lot of popular mods are being updated to work with Update 5. So here we go. Let's do a completely fresh mod install on my computer on Windows 10. But before we start, let's have a quick word on Timberborn modding. No matter which mods you're looking to install, you're always going to need at least these two. Beppin X or Beppin EX, whatever the correct pronunciation is, I'm not really sure, and Timber API. BepinX is kind of like a framework that handles the organization and loading of mods, and Timber API is the go-between that allows the mods to talk to the game. So let's get those two running. The very first thing we need to do is find our Timberborn folder. If you already know how to do this, great. Skip to this timecode. You don't have to worry about the next couple minutes of the video. But if not, uh, you can do this right from inside Steam by clicking on the cog icon here, and then hitting Manage, and then hit Browse Local Files. Uh, that is going to bring up the folder. Let's go ahead and pop that up in Windows Explorer, and we're here. So what you can go ahead and do is you can give this folder a bookmark so it goes right on your desktop and you have a nice shortcut. You're going to be coming back here quite a bit. So you can back out one to where this says common, and then you can right click here and you can hit create shortcut and that'll send it over to your desktop. I don't think I need to show you how to do that, but let's go back in here for a second. So since we're already here, I'm going to show you how to to get to the entire file path you of course can click right here and it shows you the entire thing right here but if you want to know how to get here from scratch here's what you have to do go ahead and close file explorer so we'll, we'll just start fresh click right here to open it and then you come back down here to local disk the if this pc is not already expanded then you can just click to expand this uh, click local disk c that's where timberborn is installed on my computer if you specified somewhere else then well that's on you to know where you put that but go ahead and click here then you click on Program Files x86. This is where all of your Steam stuff is stored, and not in the 64-bit side. So we'll click that. You might have to scroll down to find Steam. I do because I got a lot of stuff installed. But we'll click here, open the Steam folder, and then you got a bunch of stuff here. But don't worry, it's pretty easy to find Steam apps right here. Then you're going to go up to Common, should be at the very top, and this is all of your Steam games you have installed. I've got kind of a lot, so you might have to scroll. Uh, Timberborn, and then here we go. In the same spot that we already went to earlier now you know how to get there if you didn't so let's pick up everybody else that already skipped here so um we now we're nowhere to go let's actually install something first up let's get bepinx and timber api so we're going to shift over here to mod.io which is where uh, most of the timberborn modders upload all of their stuff all right so now we're on mod.io uh, you can get to the timberborn section by just typing slash g slash timberborn or you can manually browse from the home page shouldn't be too hard to get here so the there are 945 add-ons you can possibly download right now we're only going to be focusing on these two like i said timber api and bepin x so we're going to go ahead and go to bepin x open the page there is going to be a download link you can download the files manually and it also has a history of other versions in case you need to get something but uh, for our purposes um, there's only two for this one, 348 days ago. Uh, I shouldn't have to explain to you that that's outdated. And the most recent one, uh, 39 days. So we're going to hit this button to download, and that's going to send that to our downloads folder. We'll get to that in a little bit, but since we're already here, we're going to go ahead and back out and get Timber API as well. And I'll show you guys what to do with both of these. So Timber API currently, as of the recording of this video was updated a couple hours ago to work with the latest release of uh, the Update 5 Experimental. So this version 0.6.1.0 is not the one you want. That is an outdated version from two weeks ago. So you're going to click, at least right now, by the time you watch this video, maybe it's maybe it's been replaced, but you're going to click View Azure Other Versions. And right here at the very top, five hours ago, uh, updated uh, game libraries to 5.3.0. That's the version that is currently the most up-to-date in the experimental branch. So we're going to hit download here. And you can see that's going up here to my download folder. So we're going to come out of mod.io and we're going to extract these things. And I'm going to show you where to stick them in here in just a second. Now I've got BepinX and I've got Timber API both here in my downloads folder. I'm going to select both of them. I'm going to hit copy and then I'm going to come back to our Timberborn folder and I'm going to paste these right here. The, these aren't going to stay here, but they're just here for the ease of uh, demonstrating this. What we're going to do first is extract BepinX. I have a utility called 7-Zip. You don't have to, but I, that's the one I've been using for, I don't know, 10 years or whatever. So you can just extract the, I think Windows by default will also just extract a zip wherever, but you want to extract it to its its own folder right here. So now this is uh, BepinX. You can see the, uh, the different version numbers. If you click in here, these are all the folders you have to move out to your regular Timberborn folder 
to get everything to work. This is just the container that everything comes in. So what we're going to do is go back in here, just highlight all of this. I'm not going to cut. I'm going to hit copy in case I need to put these back in, but I'm going to copy that, come back out to the Timberborn folder, and then we're going to hit paste. So we're just going to hit replace all the files. So now we should be all good to go with Bepinex. We are going to have to run this once to get all the files set up. So what we're going to do, you don't have to do this every time, but what we're going to do is hit run Bepinex. This is a shell script, batch file, whatever it is. And it's going to initialize everything and get it all good to go. So we're going to now go in and run the game. And you see we have this thing pop up here. Okay, it went away because the game was loading. But now the game has uh, started loading in the background. You can see it's kind of flashing back and forth. It's, it's going to do this the first time you set it up, just because I'm clicking everywhere you're not really supposed to. But now we're in the game, just like normal, and everything is A-OK. -okay. So we're going to go ahead and exit the game. What that's done is now we've got all of these other folders in here. We've got cache, config, core, patchers, plugins, Plugins, notably, is where all the mods are going to go. So now this is empty because we don't have anything. What we're going to do is we're going to go back out to the Timberborn folder. I'm going to drag the Timber API into the Bepinex folder and then drag it again into plugins. So now it's moved in here. And now for the game to actually recognize this, we have to extract, of course, like we've already done. So we're going to extract this. And now you don't have to do anything else. You can you can get rid of the zip file if you want, but I always keep them around in case I have to re-extract if something breaks. But now uh, in here is Timber API. You don't have to worry about moving these folders around. The game will know what to do. So now we can come back out. You can either, again, run Timberborn from here, or you can run it from the Steam launcher. We'll do it from Steam just because. Uh, just play the game. And now this is going to do its whole thing with its script window and everything. And then when the game launches and it's ready to go, then it should pop up and it's, it's popped under for some reason. It does that sometimes, but now we're good to go. So now at this point, you have everything you need to make mods work with Timberborn. You can stop here if you like and continue manually installing other mods by downloading the files and zipping them and moving their extracted folder into the Bepin X plugins folder, like I've shown you to do with the Timber API or if you want a more streamlined experience, you can try using the mod manager mod, which gives you a nice visual interface for browsing mods. It does all the work for you in terms of installing and updating files. And you can put that in uh, the same way you did Timber API by downloading the latest version from mod.io and extracting, then moving the folder into the plugins folder. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now we're back on mod.io. You can see mod manager right here. So this, this isn't guaranteed to always work because sometimes updates break games and uh, obviously I can't be I can't be on top of all of this, but all else equal, this should work perfectly fine in normal conditions. Uh, if you take a look at all the versions, uh, we have 1.3.5, which is from 18 days ago. The ones that they're, they're trying to get you to download now is 45 days old. I don't know if that's supposed to be there or not, but I always try to get the latest version I can. So we're gonna come up here to 1.3.5 hit download and that's going to go into our downloads folder again and we'll pop right back out and pop that in and I'll show you guys how that works in just a second. All right. So you can see this now mod manager, we're going to give it a copy and we're going to navigate back into our Bepin X plugins folder and I'm going to hit paste. Same thing we just did earlier, extract to folder. And now this is in place. And all we have to do now is start the game and it should recognize it. And we'll go ahead and get that going right now. All right. So now we're back in Timberborn. We hit start. And now we have this little thing right here that says mod manager. So this is going to take us into the mod manager mod. And now you have a nice visual interface to scroll through all the mods your heart desires. And you can check and see what you want to have in your game. Uh, I, I don't know which ones are completely up to date right now for update five. So I'm going to pick the ones when I uh, when I go to actually start my new playthrough here in a couple minutes. Uh, you'll see that video later, but I'm going to pick a couple of quality of life mods and you can actually sort based on different things on the left. So like if I'm looking for quality of life, I can click here. Uh, you got stuff like floodgate triggers. I think mirror buildings is broken uh, or it was uh, unstuckify is a great mod uh, pipette tool, etc. Smart power is another good one. And there's other fun things like a starvation alert, dehydration alert. Uh, I've also used in the past. Oh, okay. It's not here. I have to click show more. I mean, there's, there's a bunch of good stuff in here and there's maps and stuff that show up, but you also have UI mods. Um, okay. I don't know why that's still there if it says deprecated, but 
there's a bunch of different stuff and you can get you can get maps i have to uh take off the ui filter but they've got maps they've got compatibility filters so if you hit update 5 this allegedly is stuff that is updated to work with update 5 and you've got uh, options to look at what you already have installed, which currently we don't have anything installed. It's not going to recognize Timber API or itself. But uh, if you have mods that are able to update, you can sort by update available. It's a pretty cool mod. It's very useful, assuming it doesn't break. But it seems to be working. So you can uh, take a look at what you might want to uh, put in your own game and then go from there. Now, one more thing about Mod Manager. Now, when you click into a mod, like for example, Vertical Power Shafts, it's going to give you a default version to install, just like we saw on mod.io. This might not always be the most up-to-date version. The mod maker gets to set which one that they set as the default. So if you click on this, you can actually see there's a 1.3.0 instead of 1.2.0, which is suggested. This, I've manually confirmed, for this mod is the one that works with update 5. So you might have to do a little bit of digging, might have to go on mod.io and check uh, patch notes to see what works. Just make sure you're installing the correct one either through mod.io or manually by downloading um, those files or through mod manager or whatever it is that you're doing. Just make sure that that's right before you uh, go off saying, hey, this is broken. I don't know how to do this. This is, this is, this is terrible or whatever. Just take, take a second to look it up because it might be a pretty simple fix. Just figured I'd let you guys know about that. But I do know for a fact, vertical power shafts, you need to manually select 1.3. And then also on ladders, you need to select manually 1.3 and then you'll be good to go for those specific mods because those are the ones I'm putting in my playthrough that video and you will see that one tomorrow. But yeah, just check and make sure, ask around. The Discord community is very helpful, but should be all good to go. Have a fantastic fun time modding. There's all sorts of cool stuff you can get into. And yeah, have a good one. We'll see you later.